The texture for farming simulator, you see mods with either a full alpha image or a custom alpha image for the glass. And you can use a full alpha image and set its own material. Or you can do it the proper way. To texture the glass the proper way, you have to split the screen and mess with the UVs. Now to do this, you see it's a mess. Go to the side that has the model and do smart UV project. You change the angle limit to 60, the island margin to 1, and click OK. Now it looks like this. Press A, press Control P, and it makes it all bigger. Click Image, New Image, name it anything you want like glass. Change the width and the height to 2048. Uncheck Alpha and click OK. Now, it will turn black, but you can easily look over here. Go down here to the viewport shading and choose texture. The easiest way to get the best view is to delete your lot. Now you see that the glass is completely black. I'll show you how to fix that right now. Go to the world, select ambient occlusion, change add to multiply, go to the render render, and go to bake, uncheck clear, set the margin to two, go to textures, now that's all set up. Now I'm going to show you how to set up the material for the window texture. Just scroll down to where you see transparency, check it, and drag your alpha. The more you drag it, the more you'll be able to see through the material view indicated with this panel here. Now the alpha is 500. You can see it right there. Drag it to 0 0.19 and you can see through it even more. Now just click the render render, the camera icon, go down, and providing you've set it up correctly, the way it is right there, the textures bake mode, just click bake, and you'll notice now the glass is see through and your image is baked. Now just go to image, save as image, choose where you want to save it as. Typically the folder that has the OBJ or the i3D or the blender file and I believe mine's right here. Uh, so you save the image and then there's two ways you can do this here. You can just straight export to Giants, put it anywhere you want, open it, and then work on it there. And you'll see that it's not see through. To fix that, just click. Your mesh or object, find your diffuse texture box, click the import texture, and then find where you save the image. And you'll notice that it's still solid. Just simply save it. And reload it and now it's see-through or you can do it the way that a lot of professional modders typically do they will apply the texture in blender with the texture texture button you simply click new open find where you saved your image 
and now you'll see that the texture is applied to that material. I'm going to export it. And typically with this, you export it to the exact same place that you that you saved your image to. So we'll save it there. And you got to open it and you'll notice a few things. The first being that now you can't apply a texture and your glass still ain't see-through. To fix that, just right click, choose open with notepad plus plus, and you'll see right here, it's call tracing this texture. And since it's in the exact same place as that texture, it's like, where do I go? So what you do is you select all of the call trace except for the texture's name, delete it, save your i3D, close it, and reopen it in Giants Editor. Now, when you create a lot, you'll see that the texture is automatically applied, and all that's really left to do is import it onto your truck, or set it up, set up the rest of your mod, Remove the rigid body, resize it, do whatever you have to do to finish your mod. Thanks for watching.